Facts First presents… 17-year-old took a whole month to hand-paint her own gorgeous graduation ball dress. At the end of May to early June, high school seniors all over the world are looking forward to their graduation day. Finally, after 12-plus years of hard work, it's time to move on to bigger and better things. And there are plenty of events that come before the big day. Many schools have trips for seniors who are graduating, award ceremonies, and most importantly, the senior prom. Ah yes, the senior prom, an event seniors look forward to when they first start the ninth grade. It's finally time for this big prom that they're going to remember the rest of their lives. Lots of preparation goes into it. For boys, it's pretty simple, though. They find a nice shirt, a nice pair of pants, or they rent a tux. Most boys are dressed the same on prom night. For girls, it's different, though. Girls will search for weeks trying to find the perfect dress, one that won't be worn by anyone else at the ball. They want their dresses to be beautiful, unique, and to reflect their personal style. Girls don't want to have similar dresses, and Sierra Gann is no different. Sierra Gann is a 17-year-old girl from the Philippines. She was planning to go to her graduation ball, as they call it, or senior prom, as we call it, and she was really excited. She went to store after store with her mother, but she just couldn't find any dress that she really liked. She was beginning to get frustrated about it. I mean, nothing was unique, nothing matched her personality, and most of all, she didn't want to wear any of the dresses that were in the stores. After checking the last store in the area, Sierra's mother had a better idea. Why don't they make her dress? Sierra and her mother got up in the morning to head out for yet another day of shopping. This time, they weren't going to go shopping for dresses. Instead, they were going shopping for materials, supplies that they would need to make Sierra's dress. They purchased 13 yards of fabric, boning, crinoline, and crystals. Sierra had just a few more weeks before the ball, so she and her mother had to get started. Sierra's mother did most of the sewing for the dress. Sierra described the style that she wanted, and her mother got to work. And when she was done, it was time for Sierra to do her part. She wanted to make the dress beautiful and unique. She wanted it to reflect her personality, and because they didn't buy the dress in a store and made it themselves, she had a blank slate to work with. Sierra's main reason for making the dress was to make it unique, and because of this, she didn't want to use basic roses or delicate floral patterns on the dress. Not only did these not reflect her personality, but they also were on just about every other dress that she saw in the stores, meaning they would be on just about every dress at the prom. Fortunately, she had recently read a book that gave her the inspiration she was looking for, and she knew exactly how she was going to decorate her dress. Sierra had recently read the book Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. It's the story of a 15-year-old girl named Tiger Lily who didn't believe in love stories or happy endings. When she meets a bad boy named Peter, the leader of the Lost Boys, she falls in love with him, and soon she risks her family and future to be with him. Sierra loved the book and says it really touched her heart. It was also where she got the inspiration for her dress. The book gave Sierra the inspiration to decorate her dress with loud, vibrant colors. Rather than going with pink and purple like all of her friends most likely would, she chose orange and green. She says that the loud and vibrant colors speak more about who she is rather than pastel colors. When she had the idea in her mind, she couldn't wait to get started to make it a reality. The 17-year-old took an entire month to hand-paint her own gorgeous graduation dress. She spent hours every day for a month working on it. It took so long because she painted over 80 flowers on the dress. She also added crystals. Finally, her hard work paid off and she was ready in time for the ball. Sierra took photos of her dress and she posted them on Twitter. Some of the photos were of the dress on a hanger, others were of her wearing it. When she posted it to Twitter, she was shocked by the amount of attention it received. Her photos were retweeted over 82,000 times. She also received thousands of positive comments. She said, I still really can't believe it. It really warms my heart to see people appreciating my art. Sierra is proof that hard work does pay off. She says nobody had a dress like hers at the ball, and she got compliments all night long. She says it was one of the greatest nights of her life. Did you wear something unique to your senior prom? What was it? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.